Breaking news on a final offer to end the market basket standoff. Could empty shelves soon be filled again? Tonight, Arthur T. DeMula says there's nothing that stands in the way of getting a deal done. But the ousted CEO has not gotten his company back yet. Our Liam Martin is live in Chelsea with breaking details. Liam. Final offer. We've got two governors pushing for a deal to get done. And tonight, there is some cautious optimism that it might all finally tip the scales. With time for a deal apparently running out, some cause for optimism Friday night. Arthur T. DeMoulis releasing a statement saying he expects that this purchase can and should be finalized immediately. The bid remains at full price and its terms are extremely favorable to the sellers. There is nothing that stands in the way of getting this done this weekend. It is time to complete this deal so we can all get back to doing what we love doing, and that is running market baskets. I've certainly been able to speak uh, with both of them over the last week, and uh, uh, they both are, I think, working very hard to try to stabilize things. New Hampshire Governor Maggie Hassan and Governor Naval Patrick seconding that optimism, saying the two sides are close to a deal with Arthur T to take over by as soon as next week. Now they're probably closer than they've ever been. Industry expert Kevin Griffin says he too expects Arthur T to have control soon. He doesn't think Arthur S's side has much choice. They're in dangerous territory. So. They know that. I think it's the only way out for Arthur T. to come in. He's the only guy who can fix this. What would normally be here? Uh, prepared sandwiches. Meantime, employees sandwiches. like those who spoke with us Friday in Brockton say morale is low. We have no produce, no fresh meat, no fresh seafood. But they say they're cautiously optimistic and still don't plan to fold until Arthur T. is reinstated. I'll be glad when it's over, and I'm certainly hoping it. For it to go only one way. And that statement tonight from the governors also says that the Market Basket Board has agreed not to terminate protesting workers as long as this deal is in the works. The board is expected to meet again as early as Sunday, so we might have a deal at some point over the weekend, and we will, of course, be following it for you. Live in Chelsea tonight, I'm Liam Martin, WCVB News Center 5.